Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, tools for working on guns. Um, a lot of the stuff you'll see here is just pretty basic stuff. I'm not a gunsmith by any means, but um, what you see here is pretty much what you'll need to do the majority of the simple things that you want to do like switching out sights or um, making adjustments, changing flash hiders, stuff like that. So um, some of the things that I use most often would be uh, this hammer. Now you don't necessarily have to have a gunsmith hammer, but that's what this is. So this is this is all steel. It's a pretty heavy hammer and uh, it's a little shorter than a standard hammer. Um, actually here's a regular run-of-the-mill hammer so you can see the size difference there. Um, but the reason I like this one specifically is, um, you know, it's short and um, so, you know, if you're working in, in a small space and you don't have a lot of room for um, maneuvering a larger sized hammer, but um, so it's great for that, but more importantly, the uh, interchangeable tips. So you'll see here, this is a brass one, um, this is a, an aluminum one. But you see I've got different tips. Here's a steel one, um, and then a nylon and Delrin uh, tip. So depending on what you're using it for, you can kind of pick what you want. Um, but another reason why I like this is because the uh, handle is metal. A lot of gunsmith hammers are just wood, and they're fixed ends so you'll usually have like a brass end on one and like a nylon one on the other so this gives you the freedom to kind of use one have one hammer that covers all your bases um, and I've even used it as just a regular hammer for non-gun related things and it works great um, I don't have to worry about this breaking because this is just solid steel so it works great for that um, back to the table over here like I said some of this stuff is just pretty generic Files, um, you'll use that for stuff like installing uh, sites. You'll see here, this is just a front site post, but sometimes you'll have to just run a file across this guy to take a few thousandths of an inch off so that it uh, slides right in the gun. Um, what else have I got in here? Uh, this is a 7 8 inch wrench. Um, I used this to remove the uh, AAC flash hider. You can see that in another video. Um, so pretty much just a basic wrench set. Um, you know, just about everybody's got those. Um, crescent wrenches, you won't use too much, but every once in a while you might find yourself in a position to use one of those just because it's um, small and or adjustable. The only thing I don't like about these is, you know, it's hard to keep them exactly tight and they easily strip uh, strip stuff out, so something to keep in mind with those. Um, flathead screwdrivers are, are great for stuff. Uh, needle nose pliers, those have probably seen their better days. Um, snap caps, I've covered those in another video. Those are good just when you, um, you know, install a new barrel or something, you can check to make sure it chambers correctly. Um, a caliper, this um, is usually, I use this mostly in reloading, but if I uh, ever want to take a measurement of something, you know, it gives you a pretty precise measurement and it's got um, a way to measure two ways. You know, you can measure the thickness here or if you're trying to measure something um, like a barrel, you know, you can put it in here and, and, and do one of these. So it works great for that. Like I said, it's mostly for reloading, but you can use that to check the uh, you know, various things on whatever guns. Um, one of the other things I use most often are these punches. Um, you know, these are used to uh, remove push pins from various, pretty much every gun that uses um, push pins. And um, you see there's some with, with flat tips. Give you a better look at it. So this has got a flat tip. This has got a little bit of a point. Um, depending on what you're using it for, and um, a Glock tool, which is a pretty popular little 
thing for Glocks is really just a 3 30 seconds punch. So um, I've got a whole set and they're laying around here. Now these are all steel. They do make, you know, nylon ones and plastic ones. Um, this is all copper here, or brass, I mean. And uh, you see it's a little marred up on the end. That's from me uh, putting it against stuff and beating on it. I'll use that um, to remove sights sometimes if I don't really have a sight pusher for any specific gun because, um, you know, if I get one for a Glock, it usually only works for a Glock. If I get one for an HK, it only works for an HK. And I don't do enough uh, sight swaps to justify buying a whole tool because they're usually pretty expensive. Um, let's say pliers, of course, you'll use. Um, the needle nose ones you'll use mostly for the internals of guns. But um, some specific tools um, you'll usually get when you buy guns. So, um, like this is a special tool for the uh, Umarex Walther MP522 kind of deal. This is um, to screw on the fake suppressor, so that locks into two little holes and you use that. I don't know what the end of this is for some other part of the gun. Um, it also came with one of these long Allen wrenches which, uh, you know, you're not going to find this in uh, any hardware store, really, because it's a funky size. Um, and that's just another part of the takedown. Um, here's some stuff that comes with an AK-47. These are primarily for cleaning, but you see it, is, it does have a punch in here and uh, some other things. So every once in a while, I'll run into something where one of those tools will come in handy. Um, this is a takedown tool for a Warlock suppressor. So, you know, any specific tools um, you'll usually get with the gun when you buy it. Now, the only problem you may have there is if you are buying it used, you know, buying used guns, you don't always get the uh, original stuff that came with the gun. So, you know, I guess that's one of the downsides. Um, and then obviously there's specific tools for specific guns that you'll just need. So this is an AR-15 armorer's wrench. Um, so, you know, you'll use this for various things. This takes off the uh, uh, barrel nut and the delta ring. And then this is for, I think, the rear stock. I don't know. I've used it a couple times to do various things to my AR. And um, a move over here. So of course a vise and a journal. I've used this in uh, some other videos for certain things. Um, a vise, you don't necessarily have to have one. I've, I got away with not having one for a while, but it does just make things so much easier, especially if you're uh, trying to swap parts, internal parts out of guns. Um, it's kind of just like a, another set of hands that holds everything um, for you. Um, also, if you're messing around with uh, the internals of guns, a lot of times you'll need like some oil or something to kind of lubricate things and make uh, pins easier to insert and, you know, just for general purposes of keeping the gun in working order. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I have some other things here and there around the house that I use for things, uh, you know, ratchets and stuff. Uh, down here, obviously, everybody knows what this is, and uh, I don't think I've ever really used this on a gun per se. A lot of these other tools come into play if you're reloading and you use them to adjust things, but um, you know, the vise obviously helps. The only thing to um, know about this, and I've covered this in another video when I was removing the flash hider, is the inside of this vise um, has a pretty sharp texture, there's little teeth in there to stop things from moving. So what you don't want to do is, you know, clamp um, your gun parts in there because this thing gets pretty tight. You don't realize as you're as you're moving it because it's it's so easy to move by hand. But there's a lot of force between these jaws and what you don't want to do is either mar up your guns or um, if it's something like a pistol slide, you can actually bend it and then you know, these things fit so precisely that you know, if you bend it even a, a thousandth of an inch, it might not even uh, go back onto your receiver at all. So just uh, something to keep in mind, guys. You know, I'm not a 
gunsmith by any means. I just kind of like to tinker with this stuff. But, um, you know, once you've seen enough guns and taken enough of them apart, um, you kind of get more comfortable with them and, and are able to do stuff, uh, simple stuff. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.